Okay, so here we're comparing numbers in scientific notation. Um, let's just say we have a list of numbers, and we'll talk about a strategy for doing this, like 3.2 times 10 to the ninth, and then 4.6 times 10 to the negative ninth, followed by 6.4 times 10 to the negative eighth, and 1.3 times 10 to the positive eighth. Okay, so what what number here has the smallest value? Well, I should say first of all that since all of our numbers here are positive, we can use a simple algorithm for comparing in scientific notation. All we have to do is look at these exponents here and figure out which of these are the smallest. That will be our smallest number. But that's only because our starting value is here is positive. So let me identify the smallest number, talk about why that is so you can solve a wide variety of these types of problems. So the smallest number here is 4.6 times 10 to the negative ninth. Why is that? Well, what does 10 to the negative ninth mean? It means take your number here and divide it by 10 nine times. So you can think of this, 4.6 divided by 10, right, to the ninth. So 10 times 10 times 10, nine times. Let me write that like this. So imagine that you're taking the number 4.6 and dividing it by 10 over and over and over and over and over and over again. So what's going to happen to the value of a positive number when you do that? Well, with positive numbers, the more you divide them, the more you break them into pieces and the smaller they get. So you can imagine that dividing by 10 over and over and over again will really make your number smaller and smaller and smaller on your number line. The reverse kind of happens with negative numbers. If you had a negative 4.6 times 10 to the negative ninth, Again, you're dividing by 10 over and over again, so it does get closer to 0. But on a number line with negative numbers, here's 0. As you divide, you get closer and closer to 0, right? But with negative numbers, that means your value is actually increasing, right? If you imagine here I start at negative 1, as I divide, my fraction gets smaller and smaller and smaller. I do get closer to 0, but that means my value increases. So that's a small difference with negative numbers. All right, hope that helped.